Okay, okay. Hey guys, I am Katie or KB Does Art as you might know me and um, today we're going to be doing um, a 3D model of a light bulb. So um, go ahead and open up a new scene and then uh, what we're going to do is go into front view. I'm actually going to add in um, a reference because light bulbs are a little complicated. So go to view image plane import image and then I'll just bring my reference in. Um, you can just find really any um, online. It can be real or it can be a drawing. Um, just kind of whatever you think is the best. Alright, so once you've got your um, reference, you can just go ahead and push it up to the ground. And then over here on the right, um, make sure you go to your attribute editor and then click on looking through camera. So that way we can't see it in the other four views. All right, so um, I think the first thing I wanna start with is the bulb on the top. So let's grab a sphere and then let's scale it up a little bit bigger. All right, looks good. And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, these vertices and then I'm going to push them down and then probably scale them in hold control and then drag on that top one you can kind of see this part right here that's where you're aiming for all right there we go and then go ahead and grab this bottom layer and then scale those guys up as well. And then just keep going down and scaling them up until they fit that mesh. All right, let's go into um, wireframe mode. Let's grab the multi-cut tool and then hold control and add some middle clicks in here. Go ahead and click Q again. And then let's grab these vertices and we're gonna scale those guys in so that they fit with our mesh a bit more. I'm noticing that this row's a little bit off, so I'm just gonna scale that guy up a little bit. Make sure you're holding control whenever you are scaling those guys. All right, let's get out of wireframe mode. All right, looks pretty good for our bulb. So um, the next thing we need to do is make the bottom. So let's hide this by doing control H and then grab a cylinder. Go ahead and push it up to, let's go at the bottom of the metal part and then we'll end up dragging the bottom frames to be through there. Let's go into wireframe mode. And then next thing we're gonna do is go into vertex mode and grab these vertices and just bring them down to that top of that metal part. All right, so this is where it gets a little complicated. I'm gonna make mine a little bit more like um, a cartoon, not fitting this super realistic um, depiction. So I'm gonna grab my multi-cut tool and then I'm just gonna add multi-cuts all throughout here. All right, looks good. Go ahead and click Q again. And then um, I think the best method for what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select every other one of these um, rings basically. Um, so if you can imagine, I'm going to select like this one, this one, this one, and this one. And then we're going to um, extrude and kind of like push those guys in. So go into face mode and then click one, hold shift and double click the next looks like we need um, another ring. So just go ahead and grab these vertices. I'm going to push them down so that they fit so that they um, fit a little bit better. I'm going to push these guys down so that they start at the edge of that guy. And then I'm going to bring these guys up so you can see we're trying to get a little bit smaller of a gap all right let's keep doing that so you want each of your um, edge loops 
to start at the base of one of those guys. So this one starts there, this one starts there. Let's go ahead and make this guy start at the middle of this one. Our next edge loop will start at the middle of this one. Next edge loop will be at the middle of the left one. Next one will be there. And then this guy will be there. So we're just alternating where it starts basically. So there's one right here, there's one right here, then here, 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 and then we'll add another one um, right there. And then I think I'm gonna add one more up here as well. So click Q and then you can drag and select those guys, just move them to be a bit more accurate. And then um, that last guy, push him to be there. And then it looks like we need one more. So let's grab our multi-cut tool and put one right there. Okay, sweet. So next thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna be selecting each of these small rows and then extruding and pushing them in. So let's go ahead, click Q, and then go into face mode, click one of them, hold shift, and then double click. There. All right, so next thing you're gonna do um, let's go into perspective view just so we can see it a bit better. You can extrude, command E, and then let's just hold control and reduce their thickness in. And then if you want, you can press three to kind of see how it's going to round out. So like that's probably too far. I would say that's probably a bit closer to a light bulb. And then um, if you want to, we can um, bevel those edges. You don't have to. I think I'm probably going to leave it because I kind of like how it looks. Um, the next thing we need to do is this bottom part. So go ahead and go back into perspective view. Be in face mode and click these bottom guys. And then we're going to extrude and then offset in probably until about there. Go back into front view and then click W and move it down and then you can offset it in. Right, so probably need to offset it a bit more. That's probably better. And then um, change your local translate back to zero so that it's in the mesh. And then um, we're just going to extrude again and then we're gonna bring it down until it reaches the bottom of this guy. So, all right, let's select this edge. And then we're gonna click R and scale that edge up until it looks like it reaches the edge of our mesh. And then select these bottom faces after scaling them in to be about the size. And then you can press W and press those guys down to be a bit closer. All right, and then when you press three, it'll all round out. If you click on um, the sphere that is supposed to be um, the bulb, do Shift H, it'll unhide it so that you can actually see it. All right, and then you do need to press three on that um, bulb as well, so they are both, um, in subdivision surfaces. Okay, so the one thing I don't like is how the bottom is doing that. So I'm gonna bevel this edge. Control B is beveling. I usually do two segments to follow a three edge rule and then bring in that fraction and then you can see how it'll round out a bit better. Okay. I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out actually. Um, I think it's a really cute um, model of a light bulb. So um, let me know what you guys think. And that's it for um, this quick little tutorial. Um, stay tuned for whatever we've got next time. And I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.